Spade bits, we've all got them. We all use them. But how do you store them? I'm gonna let you in on a little storage secret that most don't know. Hello everyone and welcome back. I think everybody knows what these are, they're spade bits. They come in all different types, all different forms, all different manufacturers. But what do we end up doing with them when we're not using them? Some of them come in small sets like this. Irwin Speed Bore, I know these are a popular brand. They work well. And they give you this little case here that you can store them on. If you're someone who's working in your shop or your garage all the time, on the back you can see they've got these two spots where you can screw these into the wall. Kind of nice, right? Stick up right here, you can pull them out, use them whenever you want. The problem is, there's only six. And I don't know about you, but I don't use these very often. Some manufacturers give you a nice case like this. Open it up, it's got nice elastic holding it in. They've got slots on the bottom. You can pull the spade bits out easily. This is another great way to store it for guys who are on the go. But if you're like me, you're using a Bosch bits and you probably got them in this 12 piece set or maybe even the nine piece set. And as of lately, now you're getting the Diablo bits. Well, if you're like me and you didn't buy the big set that came with this nice case, how are you storing these? Right here's how I did it for the longest time. Hey, can you give me that one inch? Yeah, no problem. Found it right here. What about quarter inch? I need that one. It's half inch, three eighths, seven eighths. Oh, found it. Who wants to do that? I did it for a while and I got sick of it. So I started looking around for storage solutions and there's really nothing out there. Then I noticed that you can get the Irwin spade bits in a case like this. I started counting it and I realized it wasn't exactly going to hold the bits that I needed. What am I gonna do with the speed bores? I guess I could just throw them in a drawer, but I decided, you know, I can't fit all these in here, so I don't wanna do it. So that led me to this DeWalt case. This DeWalt case is real nice. Originally, it came with these little black dividers in it. And so when you open it up, I put all this stuff in here. This is an empty case. It comes with this black piece going down the center and these individual dividers, you can then put them in the slots however you want. So you can put them on each side. I think there were six total. You can customize it how you want. So I bought this case and I was like, you know what? Maybe I could stick them in here. That's when I realized, once again, this is about the same size case as the Irwin. And so this is measuring it at roughly an inch and a quarter. So as I'm shopping around, looking, I thought to myself, why don't I look at Craftsman? Because we all know that Stanley Black & Decker owned DeWalt and Craftsman. And we all know that the first is stack, stack with the T-stack containers. So then I found these kits. And you wanna know what I noticed about these kits? These kits are an inch and three quarters wide. So I waited for one to go on sale and I purchased it with all these not so great Craftsman bits. And if you look closer, you can kind of tell that it looks like there's a double layer right here. So I purchased one of these with all these not so great Craftsman bits. I waited for it to go on sale, of course. Once I purchased it, I grabbed a few extra bit holders that I had from some miscellaneous cases that I've used, threw it all together, and I got this. My one and three quarter inch case connects no problem with the DeWalt. And if you wanna see a video on how all these cases intertwine, I'll post one at the end of this video. But the one feature Craftsman has that DeWalt does not is this piece right here that pulls out. So you can have it double stacked and you can fit all 12 of your Bosch Daredevil spade bits in this case. It'll work the same for any of your spade bits. You can do this with any brand you want. But I know that a lot of you like me are either using the Bosch Daredevils or the new Diablo spade bits that just came out and they sell that 12 pack and there's no case for it. And it gets kind of annoying. And if you notice, you can put these all out so you can easily and clearly see what size it is you're looking for. And just so you guys all know, in case you don't, 
If you're using any of these spade bits that are impact rated, which these Bosch Daredevils are, I would recommend if you're going to use them in an impact, not use them in a drill because the drill can damage this section right here a little bit, which will make it harder and harder for your impact to hold on to the bit when you're pulling it back out after drilling holes. That's why I'm going to end up getting myself a second set of Diablo bits when I see a good deal on them. And I'll make a second case like this. And then I'm going to designate one set for the drill and one set for the impact driver. If any of you have already done this, or if any of you have any other great solutions for storing spade bits that don't come with any type of storage, let me know in the comments section below. If you thought this was a great idea, please don't forget to hit that like button. Tap the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.